Greetings, all praise the King. Welcome to Eyewitness, an eye with an eye, an unscripted source supporting the struggle for international justice. Today's discussion is on incentivization. word we came up with to describe a particular process, providing conditions to affect or influence the trajectory of an individual that is the path that they're on you know, where they're going people need hope if people don't have hope feel like their life is worth anything. Um, people that don't have hope are the ones that kill themselves. So the Babylon realizes this and they know they can um, provide a kind of artificial hope for these individuals. make people feel like they have a purpose. This is something that everyone has a need for a purpose. You can call it power, self-empowerment. Um, really, it, 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 it's that people have a need to feel belonged. They feel like they have some value. And the incentivization is what can give this people this artificial um, uh, security. When people, you know, put on, you know, some, some clothes, certain certain style, for example, if they if they drive a car, you know, it's new, you know, they might feel better about themselves. So th there's an incentive and it's providing a condition um, to give people that hope um, so that they're facing in a particular direction and they keep moving towards that place we talked about the ultimate uh, servitude and worship of the monkey now this can be done through materials or it can be done you know in a in a um, in an intangible uh, you know in a way that, that people really don't know what it is that they're, they're working for um, in other words you can trick people's minds into thinking that if they obtain something you know their life would be better and then you can put that in front of them for as long as it takes to keep them moving in that direction, um, hoping that they'll obtain that. You know the, you know the the, the, the plastic carrot. So there's a plastic carrot on a stick, and the person just keeps chasing it around and around and around because. They want that carrot so bad, but what they don't realize is they're being manipulated. That there's somebody moving that carrot. I guess you could you could use an example of a dog, and the dog doesn't really know what's going on. So if you can attach that carrot in front of them, you can keep them moving. 
you know, so this isn't necessarily done though um, in, 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 in a way that the people see. Um, a lot of this is done the, the ways that people just don't really realize why they are moving in the way that they're, they're moving. Um, some of this is done through social model, modeling. You, you show people a person you know, following the carrot and you'll get other people uh, to show that same behavior. Um, they feel like this person right here has got something to offer them. A lot of times through the advertisements, um, you know, they, they, these people are depicted as is happy, you know, it's, it's having something that a lot of people would like to have. Uh, so they're the ones that the people will follow. And that's only one form of incentivization. You have this, this idea of careerism we spoke about in one of the recent videos. You know, once people put themselves on that path, yeah, they put, they, 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 they spend so much of their time and energy um, building a stake in, you know, what it is that they're doing. You know, let's say, for example, they're becoming a doctor. Well, they're going to go to school on minimal for eight years. You know, m most of them, you know, m go to school for longer. And... They, they, many, you know, um, sleep, let's say maybe sleepless nights, you know, of working um, in these hospitals, you know, performing the work of these doctors for relatively little pay. And, you know, they, they, they go through all this because there's an incentive at the end of the road um, that they, they'll themselves become, a, they themselves become a doctor as well. So, you know, and then of course, you have this academic industry uh, where you have people going to school just to go to college for whatever uh, career. So once people achieve their diploma, um, they feel like they've earned it, you know? Um, they've been put through a lot more than they had to, to get to that point. And of course, that's that's the kind of screening process. Uh, but really, once they get to that point, it's fairly easy to drive them to any particular place. Um, you just have to convince them that they're going there because they got the diploma. Um, for, so you know, if you're you go to school for ten years to be a doctor, you become a doctor. Now they say, now nah, we're going to give you the opportunity to be a doctor. Now here's your license. Don't do anything that we don't tell you to do, otherwise you might lose that. But right now, they're not ready to turn in any way because they put so much of their life on the line. They're not willing to lose it all. So there may be situations they come across, for example, with the pharmaceuticals to say, you know, give this to people and they see clearly this thing is not working. It's making people's lives or making people even worse off, um, they'll, 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 they'll be reluctant to say anything about it because they're afraid of losing their license. You know, once they've gotten to that point, you know, they're smart enough to realize it's an industrial complex. And these corporations are working with this thing they call the government. And they're doing it to exclude individuals, basically come to just keep things going the way that they're going to profit a few individuals on the very top now. We usually put this up here. It's important that we recognize this is this is led on by the world classes. Now, you also have something called decentivization. Now, I haven't heard anyone use this word yet. They are starting to use the word incentivization. And some people might say it's disincentivization. But we say decentivization because really it is another form of incentivizing people to decentivize. Um, sometimes, you know, this word is referred to as deter. 
just to keep somebody from doing something. So it's pretty, you know, obvious, you know, what it is. Uh, but let's let 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 let's try to get into um, some examples. You know, the um, the so-called federal government funds uh, certain programs, you know, with uh, other states. And what they'll do is they'll have a few people, let's say, for their um, one of their states or something like that. They got a few people at the very top. You know how this thing works. And they're going to fund them directly. You know, they're going to give them some money and say, now this is what we'd like for you to do with this money. You know, this kind of thing. But the money's not guaranteed. You know, they don't give them a lump sum. You know, they feed them. And then what happens is if they have a situation that they'd like to come down on, uh, they basically use this, this director, the person at the top, and they threaten to pull out the funding if they don't make this move, mandate mask on their employees, for example. So this is a form of uh, decentivization uh, if they pull the money out. If they pull the money out, see the money's used for incentivization. But if they pull the money out, it's it's used for decentivization. Either way, it moves people in a direction. You got bonuses. You know, you see with this uh, the latest. Beep, you got a bonus for people, um, you know, that take the, um, and you might say, well, the bonus is um, being taken away from people if they don't take the beep, but, you know, it, 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 either way, it, it functions as the same, for the same purpose. You're looking for people to take the beep, and therefore, um, you say, look, we're gonna pull out your bonus if you don't take the beep, So that's a form of decentralization. You know, this, the word incentivization is big. It makes people move. So there's almost countless ways of incentivizing. Drugs. Drugs is a huge incentive. Food. Food, man. You know, people are incentivized uh, to, to, to go about their day when they feel like there's a reward at lunchtime. And that usually consists of fast foods. They have certain chemicals in them make give them addictive properties so you can think about it as a kind of addiction or a mindset these people are hooked status, entitlement, when people get into positions of power, that's another form of incentivization. First of all, these people were incentivized to get there in the first place. Then once they get there, you know, um, they stay there because they're afraid of losing their post. So oftentimes, uh, what the world classes will do is get these people um, to agree to certain contracts, you know. And they'll put language in there that can be interpreted um, so many ways. And once these people agree, you know, they're hooked. They, they have to follow that plan, otherwise they lose their position. 
of medals, awards, you know, the military will give out or something. Those are incentives. Producing kind of artificial hope. I mean, yeah, you know, it, it gives people a false sense of security. They might feel like they are more than they actually are. And that might benefit the world classes because for those people be willing to worship and serve. But at the end, the, when they get old and they think about it, they realize it was just a fake out. That they were just being fooled into thinking there was something that they weren't. But by that time, it's usually too late. They've already performed the work for the world. And become a model for the next generation. You know, job provides us with the natural incentives, the birds, the air, the, 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 the scents, and nature. Just the leaves. The snow, the rain, the sun, the clouds, the sky, these are things we should know if we pay attention to. They will lead us towards a better place.